If you think about uh, where we stand today uh, in our industry, um, we really have uh, a historic opportunity. Um, and uh, with the, the right emphasis on, on safety, uh, the incorporation of Silicon Valley technology, and uh, the manufacturing expertise of uh, GM and other uh, uh, automobile manufacturers, uh, all coming together uh, to create a tremendous opportunity uh, for change, for the better, for safety. If you think about our industry, uh, we are uh, an industry that's been built for over 100 years on the concept that you have uh, a vehicle owned by an individual, driven by an individual, powered by an internal combustion engine. And all of those assumptions that have been with us for over 100 years are changing, and they're all changing at the same time. All of these changes are, are driving uh, a lot of policy change as well. And um, I know you guys are, are very familiar with that. Um, it wasn't uh, long, I guess, after I talked to you all that uh, you all really released the, uh, the seminal work on looking at uh, where we were uh, with our, our requirements in terms of how they could accommodate uh, self-driving vehicles at, at, at high levels of automation. Um, the Volpe report is, uh, I think, kind of the, the Bible for, for that now. And uh, so y'all should be commended for, for that work. Um, uh, so we're seeing uh, the need for policy change. I think uh, the recently released uh, guidance uh, from NHTSA 2.0 uh, built on uh, on 1.0, which was released uh, about a year before, uh, in providing uh, the right balance between uh, protecting uh, for safety and making sure that the companies that are uh, developing these uh, vehicles have safety as their top priority, uh, and at the same time uh, being flexible enough to allow uh, for innovation to to occur. In the world of self-driving vehicles, where historically you know, the federal jurisdiction was pretty clearly to deal with the vehicle and how the vehicle performed, what was required uh, for safety. Um, and then the state jurisdiction was to regulate the driver and how the, how the driver performed, what the rules of the road were. Well, in a, in a self-driving vehicle, that line gets a little blurry. As your report concluded and as we independently have concluded, uh, we need to change uh, the uh, federal motor vehicle safety standards FMVSS, there are a number of ways that they clearly uh, require a human uh, person behind the wheel. Um, uh, in a lot of ways, uh, they, they impliedly uh, uh, need to have a person behind the wheel, either through the reference of, of the positioning with regard to uh, the driver or the driver's seat. Um, which may no longer exist uh, in, in a self-driving vehicle. We think that there has to be a bridge uh, that gets us to where we are uh, to when we do have rules and we, we know what the, the rules are. And so we see that bridge as being uh, allowing uh, the department to grant uh, us uh, an alternative way to establish the vehicle, the safety of the vehicle. And as long as we can establish that the way the vehicle functions and works has the equivalent safety of a conventional vehicle that we could certify to the FMVSS, uh, then we feel that we should be able to uh, put that vehicle on the, on the road. The public writ large has, uh, you know, apprehension about the technology and the whole idea of getting into a vehicle uh, that there is no person in control of that vehicle, that the vehicle is, is in control of itself. So um, we think we need to uh, expose the public to the technology and, um, and give them the experience in, of starting to build that, that trust. Um, that's one of the reasons we think that, that ride sharing is such a great application for the technology because it gives a person the uh, opportunity to, to dip their toe uh, into the water. Uh, they can uh, take a ride from point A to point B and if they get there safely, then you know, they can start to build that, that trust with the, the vehicle. So um, I think uh, that if we do this uh, the correct way, um, this, this technology has a, a tremendous uh, potential 
to not only uh, drastically improve the safety on our roads and highways, but to improve uh, all of our qualities uh, of life. And that's, that's really uh, uh, what we're all here about.